Hello everybody, Calvin Nation here today with a brand new video. In today's video I'm going to be talking about the Benchmade Model 557. This is the Mini Griptilian, uh, the Tanto version, and guys this knife is just awesome. If some of you guys remember, in one of my more recent videos I was talking about how every year I go on a snowboard trip to Okimo, Vermont in Ludlow. Uh, the hill is called Okimo. But every year on the way there or on the way home, I like to go to a gun center in Buffalo, New York called the Buffalo Gun Center and uh, I usually try to pick up a knife there. Last year I had a specific knife in mind and that was the Benchmade Model 51 Morpho, the Balasong. This year I didn't actually have a specific knife in mind, but uh, when I got there I saw the 557 and uh, caught my eye and I had to pick it up. Now this is actually my first Benchmade folder and I absolutely love it and I'm, I don't regret the purchase and I'm absolutely excited to uh, keep carrying this knife and getting more Benchmade folders. Weird thing though is when I first started getting into knives, and I've been into knives for years, but when I first started getting into real quality knives, the first knife I ever got was a Benchmade Model 42 and now that's a Bala song. It's, you know, one of the most iconic Bala songs out there. Um, but I was, at that point, really only into Bala songs, uh, not too much folders. Um, but even when I started getting into folders, I was not into Benchmade's folders whatsoever. Uh, I started getting into Spyderco's folders, and, uh, you know, again, up to a couple months ago, didn't like Benchmade's folders. Wasn't interested them, in them, uh, wasn't thinking about getting them anytime soon. But actually a week before I got this, a week before I went on my ski trip, I bought a Benchmade folder, which was the Bedlam. And I bought it online, and uh, like I actually mentioned in the unboxing for this, I was hoping to do an unboxing for the Bedlam uh, before I left. Unfortunately, uh, it's, still, it's already been probably a month, and it still hasn't came in. I got a call from Canada Post the, uh, yesterday that uh, they lost it, and hopefully I'll get it in, uh, I'll have to reorder it and get it in uh, in a week or two. But basically what I'm trying to say is I haven't got into Benchmade folders right up until this month and I'm regretting not doing it. I absolutely love them and uh, you know I went from disliking them to getting two in one month and uh, I just can't wait to get more. Now like I said I love this Griptilian, it's just awesome. Uh, some of its features, 154 cm blade steel, I believe it says right there on the other side actually. Uh, 154 cm focus. Sorry, 154 cm blade steel you can see there. Ambidextrous thumb studs. Uh, and I like their thumb studs, they're pretty good. Um, I find you have to get more on top of them or right on top of them than below them. And uh, this is a Mel Pardu design I believe. I'm, I don't really know the history behind that but uh, yeah, Mel Pardu. And this is obviously the Tanto design, the blade shape. Now this knife performs excellently. Um, you know I don't use my knives too much for really hard tasks, so obviously this is going to excel in the tasks it does, cutting open boxes, bags, um, packages, that kind of thing. Obviously it does its job. It features a Valox, uh, or Valox handles. Basically what Valox is, it's, it's kind of like a FRN or G10 type of material. Um, I haven't heard of it until now. Uh, but basically what it is, it's a, a handle that uses a, a specific material. I think this one is polyester. Basically they apply a special resin to uh, harden it and uh, form it into a handle design. And you're looking at the same type of thing with FRN and G10. It's basically a woven material. Um, with like a fiberglass type resin applied to it to uh, harden it. So uh, you know I have I've haven't dealt with Valox before from what I know, but uh, this works. It's fine. No complaints with it. It's not super grippy. I'm not the one to worry about grip too much. It's pretty smooth. Let's see if we can get a closer look on that. But again, it's called Valox V A L O X, and it's nice. They applied a, a little grip there. It's not too abrasive. Uh, you can see there. Um, it works. Again, not too worried about it. They also have this little uh, grip here for the reverse side. 
Um, it's it's nothing too special. Uh, the jimping here too. It's you know, from what I've felt so far, it's it's not the best. But jimping is not really on the um, not really too much of my concern. This here, the jimping on the actual uh, tang end of the blade here, is a lot better than this jimping on the handle. Uh, this really doesn't do much for you. Uh, this will help, but it's not near as aggressive as something you'd find on uh, pretty much any spider co. And uh, that's from my experience so far. I can't really compare that to any of Benchmade's other folders since again this is my first one. Um, but nothing too much to complain about. This as well, same same deal as over here. It works. It's pretty good. Um, probably biggest complaint about this knife is the pocket clip here. And not that it doesn't perform, it performs well. But just the look, it, it, I don't, I don't know. I don't find it that uh, that nice looking, especially with those kind of weird fonted uh, Benchmade uh, logo or that letters there it says Benchmade. Um, obviously, again, it performs well, works fine. Again, only complaint is just the way it looks. I think they could have done a little something better there, and I actually got a comment on that as well too. Um, yeah, I think they could have changed it up. There we have the cool Benchmade Butterfly logo, USA, 557 on the bottom there. And uh, probably biggest feature on this this knife is the access lock, and I absolutely love it. Um, again, this is my first Benchmade folder, so this is the first time I've got to deal with the access lock. And again, I absolutely love it. It's, it's great, guys. Um, one thing I found that was really, really cool about it is you can basically operate this knife uh, with gravity. Now some of the Benchmade's newer knives actually use the access lock as an auto mechanism and now living in Canada um, I can't have that but you can basically get the same type of um, performance out of it by using gravity so basically what the access lock does is um, when it's pushed forward like this it's uh, it lines up with a groove inside the tang end of the blade um, and when you pull it out the groove twists on that axis lock and pulls it down um, creating tension on this so you can uh, so you can open it with force there um, but if you pull it straight down there's nothing keeping that blade in so basically you can do what you want uh, with gravity so one way I found that you could open this which is awesome in my opinion you can just pull that straight down and then just open it like that and it locks up great and uh, you can do the same thing for closing and I always close it like this just pull it down drop it and just let it slide back up you can obviously use the traditional thumb stud opening nice and fast again like I said earlier um, with the Griptilian and I don't know about some other knives uh, Benchmade offers but I find with their thumb studs you have to get right on top of it instead of below it um, you can do it below it uh, but I find it's a lot easier if you go right on top of it. Opens faster, uh, gives it a little bit more tension, a little bit more pop. But uh, I absolutely love the way that axis lock works. And uh, great overall design, great functionality. So far, um, you know, first class knife. Uh, what else here? Let's see. Weight is 2.67 ounces. So it's a very light knife. Uh, kind of just hides itself in that pocket with the pocket clip here you can see it rides fairly deep in that pocket you can tell where it's going to end you probably have about that much sticking above the lip of your pocket so it's pretty concealed um, pretty nice quality there let's see full full length overall length is 6.78 inches closed length there would be 3.87 inches um, let's see what else. 2.67 ounces. It's a blue class, obviously. Benchmade blue class. So you're looking at great quality. It comes with a standard Benchmade pouch, no sheath. Um, but it comes with that Benchmade pouch, like uh, a lot of Benchmade's uh, newer knives. And uh, like Cutlery Lover said, I, he doesn't really use this too much uh, for the actual carrying of the knife. Um, if you're storing it for a long time, might as well keep it in there. But uh, I agree with him here. 
these pouches go great with other things. You can use this for anything you want, um, not just your knives, and uh, that's a cool thing there. Um, I don't know if I mentioned the price. I got this for about 80 bucks, I believe, and actually probably closer to 90. Um, I believe online you're going to find it quite a bit cheaper, probably anywhere between $70 and 90 bucks, but uh, obviously buying it in a store, got to pay full MSRP, and uh, that's just the way it is. But again, I'm very, very glad with how this, uh, this knife performs, how it looks. It's just awesome, guys. I love that Tanto. Always love Benchmade's Tantos. I actually have my 47 here um, with me just to compare for a sec. And you can actually see uh, similarities between those two. Always love them. Love their Tantos. Gotta love that 47 as well. Uh, size comparison, I already told you the length, uh, full length is 6.78 inches, but that's just what it looks like there compared to the 47. Um, I have my little dragonfly here as well, as well as my little long lost Spyderco ladybug. Um, some of you might know, I, I mentioned this once or twice maybe, that I actually lost this one. I actually bought another dragon or sorry ladybug this one here the OD green version because I actually lost this for probably a good 11 months and I found this yesterday um, and that's just awesome great thing to find but anyway I'm getting off topic I found that in my couch <laughs> throwing out my couch but there you go guys there's a review or my review of the Benchmade model 557 mini griptilian I definitely recommend this knife for anyone out there looking for uh, a smaller EDC type knife. It's just awesome guys. Can't wait to, to get some more uh, Benchmades in the future. Again, obviously looking, I'm really looking forward to getting that Bedlam. It's probably like two times longer than this. I, I usually say that I like the smaller type knives, but I'm definitely looking forward to that full size Bedlam. So guys, stay tuned for, for more videos, stay tuned for that video on the Bedlam that hopefully will be coming soon, and any com comments, sorry, comments or questions, those are always appreciated, always uh, manage to leave something out, so if you have any comments or questions, let me know, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching guys, have a great day, bye.